I lost 50 pounds. You know what the reveal was at the end? I'm bald now. Do you know how crazy that is? All this work just to be like, oh, I don't have hair anymore. If I get fat, will I get the hair back? I think I'll get fat. <laughs> it's the craziest thing. I'm bald. I still get acne. Yeah, if you're bald and you still get acne, the government should just give you $17,000, you know? <laughs> Not a lot of money, just enough to know your life sucks, you know? <laughs> you're driving around in a Yaris, like, ooh, where'd you get the Yaris? You're like, well, I'm bald and I'm ugly. And you're like, ooh, that's the rules. He bald and ugly, you get a Yaris. I remember weed not being legal for so long. Now it's like, I went in to try and like buy a joint and the guy was like, ooh, how do you want to feel? I was like, good? I don't know. <laughs> Who walks in and is like, bad? I want to remember my dad's dead. Oh, we have a specific strain for remembering your dad's dead. Is anyone old enough to remember rat tails? Oh yeah, buddy. Cut all my hair except for one little fucking part. There's not one kid with a rat tail that didn't start smoking in grade two. I swear to God. <laughs> I see the rat tail and I'm like, this guy has a dad, his dad is fucked. You know what I mean? <laughs> they used to have a class called careers when I was in school, but they don't tell you about all the careers. Yeah, right? Like, here's a career. Being sober on a construction site. That's a whole career. It's like, you can be an accountant or you can drive Gary home. You know, it's like, Gary's gonna talk a lot about his ex-wife. He's gonna call her a cunt. You just fucking 10 and 2. You just 10 and 2. You know, science, right? Scientists can't figure out what's in uh, female ejaculate. Yeah, they can't figure out. Of course they can't. They're a bunch of fucking nerds. Jocks like me on the job. I have a will, but really all it says is delete all my social media accounts. Because I don't want any social media. Here's the thing is, uh, I have a son. He's 16 months old. I don't want him finding my social media accounts. And not even all the like stand up and stuff that I've done that's fucking crazy. Not even like me saying bullshit about his mom. I don't care about that. What I care about is that he like goes into my WhatsApp messages or my Facebook messenger messages, sees some conversation where he's like, wait a minute, dad asked this guy to hang out eight times and the guy said no every time. I think my dad was a fucking loser. I don't know, I watch too much uh, social media, but like there's a group of people who thought that was fake it's like, it's not fake. You've just never seen two drama kids fight before. Like, of course he'll look goofy. He's Will Smith. He's been an actor since he was fucking five. That's why that slap was like, the slap was like, hiya. You know? Ah, ta -ta. Macbeth. Like, it was like, of course it was weird and silly. It's like, Chris Rock should have attacked him. No, because he's a theater kid too. He was like, oh my God, someone hit me. Like, that's all he could say. Because we're losers. 25? Yeah. There shouldn't be this age gap. Anyway. Like, I should look closer to your age, but I just, like, someone ran me over. Anyway. <laughs> life ran me over. No, my life's sick. My genes make me look old. I hate when people are like, yeah, life really sucks. I'm like, no, your fucking grandfather's probably ugly too, you know? <laughs> like, that's how this works. You're ugly because other people, you're coming from a long line of people that like, well, I guess. <laughs> Did you come? No, that's just pre-sex swag. Okay. <laughs> My wife's Greek, and what she'll do is she'll do that great thing that you can do where she uh, just writes off little flaws with her ethnicity. Yeah, she arrives late to something. She'll be like, that's GST. Greek standard time. <laughs> Half an hour late, I'm Greek. Woohoo, it's one of our flaws. <laughs> I can't do that as an English guy. Like, you know, there's no light flaws you can write off as an English guy. Like, oh yeah, you know, I'm English, that's why I'm a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> that's just rock to me. <laughs> do you do like oh do you do like those twenty four hour shifts? Uh thank God no. Thank God no? Okay, cool. What's the longest shift you do then? 12, pussy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the 24 hour shift people, by the end, they're on blow, right? No? 100%. 100%? Okay, good. Thank you for being honest. Because every time I go to a hospital, like, it's just like, I never question. I always want to ask that question to the doctor, like, how long have you fucking been here? And they're like, 18 hours. I'm like, yeah, I gotta get a new guy. 
Because, like, that's too late. If it's, an, if it's 23 hours, I'm like, all right, you could be zoned in for that last hour. But if it's, like, 18, you still got six left, I'm like, fuck, you might just kill me just to be like, oh, sorry, I gotta go to the break room. You know? <laughs> this happened three times last week. I did a show, and then immediately someone came up to me afterwards and was like, hey, how is it doing comedy now that you can't say anything on stage? Yeah, that happened to me three times last week, which means three separate people saw me and they were like, this guy's act used to rely heavily on slurs. This guy... <laughs> this guy's got nothing to say anymore. My friend, he had the worst job, uh, dead body removal. <laughs> Isn't that fucked up? You know what the craziest thing about dead body removal? You know how much it pays? Minimum wage. <laughs> Thinking everyone that does dead body removal highly suspect. <laughs> What's the job interview like? And uh, you will unfortunately be earning minimum wage. But oh, wait a minute, you pay me too? <laughs> Weaknesses? Oh, you'll find that out in the news. 